our design is different from yours. It doesn't mimic the profile of a hydraulic cylinder, so it's not probably as good for retrofits as yours is, but it's got a better extended to compressed ratio. Like it can get really small as opposed to how wide it gets because it's kind of similar to a scissor jack. And so I think it's just different. I think they're different products for different niches, but both following a similar principle, which is that, you know, if you do clever stuff with pulleys and, and drums and mechanical advantage and electric motors, you know, you can create a pretty awesome linear actuator. And so that's, that's the common ground, I think. Yeah, so I was having a conversation with uh, a couple of folks at Rise about your actuator, and oh, cool. they found it exciting that we were working on this stuff, and uh, immediately they identified that one of the advantages of what you're doing is a lightweight. And so it's a natural for space applications, but it's also natural for anywhere where weight is is key. So it's, it's cool. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, and I'm glad we're, we're on your guys' radar, and you know, I think there's a mutual respect there. I mean, you're certainly on ours too, but, you know, in a way where there's there's only admiration. Wait, so you guys are using steel and reinforced polyurethane? I didn't realize that. Yes, steel That's reinforced awesome. polyurethane, yep. So what are some of the things you see the RISE actuators going into? Well, really, any system that has hydraulics in it will eventually be replaced by a RISE actuator. We call these, we call our technology belt hydraulic. So our belt hydraulic actuators will end up replacing hydraulics everywhere. I think it's going to take time because of the cost curve. Uh, but ultimately, I see it going everywhere where there's hydraulics, simply because uh, the actuator can do everything a hydraulic system can do. Um, and it has none of the disadvantages. So you're not leaking fluids. Um, you don't have to wear um, PPE around it, especially if, when hydraulic fluids are under high pressure. Uh, 